La mission qui commence est... The mission that is starting is also an answer to terrorism. We are at war with them, so we must put military means that are more adapted in the face of the threats. I'm describing to you the reasons why um, we have not chosen to use that label because it doesn't seem to accurately describe what had happened. Uh, we also don't want to be in a situation uh, where we are legitimizing what we consider to be uh, a completely um, illegitimate justification for this violence. Continuing our discussion about terrorism, what the administration is doing on it, uh, about it, there's uh, number five is a Fox poll, Obama on terrorism, President Obama on terrorism. What uh, the new Fox poll shows is that he stands at 39 percent approval, 53 percent disapproval, and there you can see the record low and the record high of those two. We're back with the panel. Steve. I think the problem when you have day after day you have administration officials dancing around using this term radical Islam or Islamist um, is it suggests both to, to people here and to people fighting alongside of us or who would be fighting alongside of us if we were fighting more of a war that we don't really know who we're fighting and that we're not that dedicated to actually winning the battle. And I think it, it's dangerous because it not only sends the message to the people who are on our side but more importantly it sends, it sends that message to the people on the other side. And the administration makes these distinctions, sometimes they are distinctions without a difference. As in the statement today from Nasser al ansi made the statement on behalf of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, no question that he is a member of al-Qaeda core. So you have, again, the administration making this distinction when al-Qaeda itself doesn't make the same distinction. Chuck, what about the French here? You had the French president out on an aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, uh, deploying now that aircraft carrier to the Middle East to, to step up airstrikes against ISIS, uh, saying it's a war against radical Islam and kind of leading the way here. Yeah, it's a, it's a kind of an ironic reversal in a way. He's behaving a little bit like George W. Bush after September 11, 2001. And there's an obvious reason for that, which is that France just got hit. And they just got hit very hard. They got hit in a way that um, threatens to divide their whole society and they've gotten a wake-up call. And they do have, of all the European countries, probably the largest capability to project force like that. And I think he would be under terrible uh, political pressure if he didn't react this way. I just want to say something about this uh, word game that the administration is playing. You can say that you know it muddles the picture of who we're fighting and so forth, but you have to acknowledge that at some level this is a tough circle to square. We need the support of Muslim countries in this war on terrorism. There has to be some effort made to distinguish between the, the, the so to speak, uh, friendly forces in the Muslim world and those who we are opposed to. George W. Bush did the same thing. He may not have uh, you know, gone to the lengths of denying that this is Islamist terrorism uh, altogether, but he went to great lengths to distinguish. That's between, why you use the phrase, sure. phrase radical Islam. And, and I'm just saying that that's what, that is the, the uh, uh, legitimate intention behind what they're doing. But you can see it is verbal gymnastics. Of course. Okay. But I, it's a silly intention. The entire world knows that there's a difference between Islam and radical Islam, and particularly the moderate Muslims. That's not what that Erdogan said. Say that That's not what Erdogan, Erdogan said. Erdogan is not a moderate Muslim. Well, we thought, the way we, he's, relatively, we, he was. Re the UAE, you will admit, is a Muslim country. The UAE uses the word radical Islam. Egypt, you would admit, is a majority Muslim country, 90% Muslim. Its president stood up and gave a speech on January the 1st to an audience of clerics in which he said, we have to reform Islam, this is coming out of Islam. It is a joke what the administration is doing because everybody understands that if you use the phrase radical Islam, you are not indicting all of Islam, yet Obama persists in this absurd word game. Well, if, if everybody knows what it is, what's the big advantage of, uh, of, of actually saying it? If everybody knows what, uh, that it's radical Islam, what difference does it make if he says no, it? No, because everybody understands that we distinguish between radical Islam and Islam. And, but if you, as, because you're afraid that there'll be people who don't understand that, you don't say radical Islam, you say we're fighting violent extremism. What does that mean? It means nothing. We will continue this discussion in the online show. That's it for the panel.